one year of film. Introduction to film photography was back in the 80s, around 1980, 89 or 1990. I was gifted a 110 format camera from my grandparents. And I just did all that point and shoot stuff that you do. I had like a cheap one and then I had like a, a fancier one that had like the, the flash bulb sticks that you used to put into the top. I remember the smell of them, they were pretty gross. But I shot 110 primarily until the mid 90s. I was gifted a 35 millimeter camera. I don't remember anything about it other than being gifted it and never really using it. So I didn't have much experience with 35 millimeter at all. Fast forward to the late 90s, I got into the Advantix uh, film system that Kodak brought out and I shot that this is all automatic by the way of point and shoots and i shot that until i think film kind of died out in the early 2000s and that's when i moved to digital so then i shot digital for years and years and years and then in 2012 i believe it was 2012 i came across an old camera that was in our home, I was living with my ex at the time, and it was his father's old camera, and it was an Olympus OM-2N. And so I got a roll of film, because at the time, in 2012, you could still buy film from like drugstores and stuff like that. So I picked up a roll of 35 mil and shot my first roll. So I applied what I knew about digital to film, which is essentially wrong. And the results were not that great. So after one roll, I put it away. It wasn't my camera anyway. So then a year ago in December 2022, I decided to get back into film. I had been struggling creatively for a while due to the fact that I have like massive time constraints due to my son. And like, I just kind of felt burnt out from photography. So film was like, old but new because I'd never really got into fully manual 35 millimeter shooting. So I perused the local Facebook marketplace and I found a local shooter who had an Olympus OM-2N and I figured I'd go with that because I did have some experience with that camera and I had a couple of lenses that I could use for it. So I picked that up at a good deal and loaded my first roll into the camera. The cameras that I'm shooting with are an Olympus OM-2N and then I'm also shooting with uh, automatic cameras as well like point and shoots. I have a Canon Sprint, a Pentax Zoom 60X and I did shoot a few with a Samsung, uh, there was a couple, there was a Zoom one which broke and I had to get rid of it and then there was another Samsung Maxima and uh, that was just like a standard 35 millimeter, no zoom or anything like that. Um, I tend to shoot now just with the Pentax and with the Olympus OM-2N because the Pentax is pretty cool and I picked that up for three bucks. So I was pretty lucky this year to pick that up. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just go through some of my favorite images from the rolls of film that I shot this year. Um, I have shot maybe 20 plus rolls and I've gone through different film stocks. I haven't shot every film stock, of course. I do have some of my favorites that I tend to uh, use quite a bit, but um, it is hard to choose. Um, obviously, there's some bangers and then there's just non-bangers that are just memorable for me for whatever, like an emotional reason or something like that. Also, I just want to make a note that... <laughs> Halfway through, I kind of got interested in medium format 
and I did pick up an a Mamiya RB67 around September and I've only shot one roll of 120 film on that but I'll get to that later yeah I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys these photos September I did get into the medium format and I had a roll of Portra 400 which had it expired in 2021 and I shot this picture of my partner and that's probably my favorite from the roll on the RB67 there's only 10 shots on a roll because it's like six by seven it's just these these cameras like produce beautiful images. I did mess up the roll. It was my first roll and I did mess it up because I accidentally hit the corner where it opens the back so it exposed like it pushed light into the side and so it ruined two images but overall I think on the whole roll I only got like three maybe four images that were good and usable and two that I really liked but my favorite of the roll is this one of my partner which was actually the second picture I took on it. But yeah, I hope to shoot more medium format uh, in the next year. I do have a roll of Cinestill 800T in one of the film backs, and I have another roll of Porsche 400 expired in the other film backs. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. So I hope you enjoyed 
this selection of photographs from my first year back into film photography and yeah let me know which ones are your favorite uh, and if you shoot film what your favorite film stocks are what you're looking forward to the year ahead a lot of the pictures that I take are very like nature inspired I did really start out as like a landscape photographer in the digital era so a lot of these are nature and then some are of like my son just because they were really like happy like memories and I don't like to shoot black and white I, I really do like color and out of all of these film stocks my favorites are Fuji 400 um, Ektar 100 which I absolutely love Ektar is beautiful for nature like flowers and like summer sunny days like the color is magnificent I also really like Ultramax 400 and um, Portraits portrait can be nice as well. I, everyone seems to gravitate towards Portra, but like I prefer Ektar and uh, Fuji 400 over over uh, Portra. Moving forward, I'm going to be trying Portra 800, and um, I think I might try some of the Lomography films. And I can't wait to get the Harman Phoenix 200 as well. And then I have another few. Uh, film stocks to try such as sl a slide film. Uh, there's a slide film by flick film and uh, I think it's chrome 100 I'm gonna try that and I might try another roll of uh, the Cinestill 400d and Yeah, I'm excited to see what the second year of film photography brings But yeah, that's it for now guys. Thanks a million for watching if you like this video, please Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave a comment, what you think, whatever. Thanks a million for watching, catch you on the next vid.